Hello there and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going to be going into Unit 2, Topic 8 of AP Psychology, The Adaptable Brain. But before we get started, don't forget to check out the Discord server and also the Ultimate Review Packet in the description of this video. These are two great resources that'll help you get an A in your class and a 5 on the national exam. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Now, we've already talked about just how complex and amazing the brain is, but over time the brain grows and changes. The ability for the human brain to change, modify itself, or even repair itself is known as neuroplasticity. Also known as brain plasticity. The neural networks in the brain change their connections and even behavior changes due to different information, external experiences, damages, or developmental changes that occur throughout a person's life. People like Michael Gazzaniga have made significant contributions to our understanding of neuroscience. Gazzaniga was a student of Roger Sperry and he specializes in cognitive neuroscience. He's done research with individuals of split brain and has made significant advances in our understanding of brain lateralization, a concept that we talked about in our last video. Now at the start of this video I mentioned brain damage when talking about neuroplasticity. The brain can become damaged from a variety of different factors such as tumors, infections, a stroke, neurotoxins, genetic factors, or head injuries. And that's just to name a few. This damage can cause the brain to adapt to the damage that has occurred in the brain. And of course all of this depends on the amount of damage that's occurred in the brain and which structures have been impacted. And it isn't just brain damage that can show neuroplasticity. In fact your brain's changing all the time. Every single day you are learning, practicing skills, discussing certain topics, feeling emotions, and processing information. All of this creates neural pathways in your brain. The more you practice a certain skill or learn a concept, the more developed that path is. When you learn something new or practice a new skill, you start to create a new path in your brain. The more you continue to practice that skill, the stronger those connections in your brain get. If you stop practicing the skill, then the pathways in your brain become weaker. All of this is neuroplasticity. Your brain is constantly changing and adapting to what you're doing in your life. Now I do want to highlight that neuroplasticity is different from neurogenesis, which is the process in which new neurons are formed in the brain. Now another way in which the brain can be changed or altered is by taking psychoactive drugs, which are chemical substances that are used to purposely alter an individual's perceptions, consciousness, or mood. Psychoactive drugs can be broken down into a couple different categories. There are depressants which reduce the neural activity in an individual. These drugs will cause drowsiness, muscle relaxation, and can also cause slurred speech, lowered breathing, or possibly death. Examples of this would be sleeping pills or also alcohol. Opioids, which also function as a depressant, however, opioids have their own category due to their addictive nature. Opioids give an individual pain relief. Examples would include morphine, oxycodone, or heroin. Now, there are also drugs that stimulate an individual. These are known as stimulants. These drugs excite and promote neural activity. A couple symptoms of stimulants would be an increase in energy, reduction in appetite, irritability, or increased body temperature. Examples of this would be caffeine, nicotine, or cocaine. Lastly, there are hallucinogens. These distort an individual's perception. These drugs can cause an individual to sense things that are not really there. They can also reduce an individual's motivation and can lead to an individual to panic. Examples would include marijuana, peyote, or LSD. You can see that each of these different types of psychoactive drugs change the body in different ways. This can lead to an addiction, alter an individual's consciousness, and can cause the individual to go through withdrawal. Some of these drugs are used for medical purposes, while others are used for recreational. Now throughout this video, I've been talking about an individual's consciousness, and this is when an individual is awake and aware of their external stimuli, and they're also aware of their own mental activity. Our consciousness has been a topic of research and discussion for generations. William James, who we last talked about in our Unit 1, Topic 1 video, argued that our consciousness was a stream, that you could not break the consciousness into parts. While Sigmund Freud believed that our consciousness was actually made up of three different parts. Our conscious mind, our subconscious or pre-conscious mind, and our unconscious mind. We'll talk more about Freud's beliefs and contributions later in this class. And just like that, another topic review video is complete. Now you know the drill. Answer the questions on the screen and check your answers in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out my ultimate review packet if you need more help with AP Psychology. And of course, the Discord server. There's a lot of students there that would help you get an A in your class and a 5 on that national exam. As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you online.